What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing the ShareX series that I've been doing recently. So in my previous couple of videos, I showed you how to disable automatic image uploads, upload to Google Drive, upload to your own website via FTP. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can upload images to any source and then create a short link using your own custom short linking service. My website is tcno.co and my short linking service on it is s.tcno.co forward slash whatever the short link is. Of course, with the program, you can use Bitly, etc, etc. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set it up to work with URLs, your own URL shortener. If you'd like to see how to set that up on your own website, check the description down below for a video I made on that topic. It runs through installing it, setting it up, configuring it, etc, etc. So assuming you have URLs already set up, simply open up ShareX and on the screen under the destinations menu, simply find destination settings. Then we'll scroll down to the very bottom and you can see URL shorteners. We'll select URLs and in here we'll see API URL as well as signature. Most of the time we'll be using these two over here, but of course if you don't have a signature, then you'll need to use a username and password, but I won't be using this. All you have to do from here is to open up the admin page of your URLs installation. So I'll open up Chrome and head across to it. Mine is s.tcno.co slash admin. Though of course, if you try to go there, I will have moved it by the time this video goes up. The same goes for all passwords and tokens that you may see throughout this video. With all of that aside, all you have to do now is simply log in. After logging in, you'll see a page somewhat similar to this. What I'll do is I'll head across to the Tools tab at the very top. Then I'll scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see this over here. Secure Passwordless API Call. URLs allow API calls the old fashioned way using URL and password parameters. If you're worried about sending your credentials in the wild, you can use a token instead. Then it says your secret signature token is followed by your token over here. Brackets, it's a secret, keep it secret. So all you have to do is simply copy the secret token over here and head across to ShareX. Then I'll be pasting it into the signature box over here. Then for API URL, all we have to do is head back to our URLs admin page over here. And as you can see, simple usage of the token. Here is an example. All we have to do is select from the beginning up to the end of the PHP file over here. For me, it's s.tcno.co slash urls api.php. I'll simply copy it. Then I'll paste it into API URLs at the very top. Upon doing this, I can simply close out of the destination settings and I'll select after upload tasks. Then I'll click shorten URL. After we have this selected, I'll simply go ahead and make sure that I'll automatically upload the image as well. So after capture, I'll make sure to enable upload to image host. As for destinations, image uploader, I'll simply select where I want it to go, which for me is FTP. So it'll go to my website slash images. If you'd like to see how to get this set up, check the description down below for another video on that. But under URL shortener, I'll simply make sure to select urls.org. Then I'll go ahead and take a screenshot. Upon taking a screenshot, it will be uploaded to my website and a short link will be created. All I have to do is open up a Notepad document and paste it in. And as you can see, here's the short link, s.tcno.co slash e. I'll head across to it and we get redirected to the image upload on our website. Heading back to my URLs admin page, you can see short URL, original URL, etc, etc. Here is the entry in our database over here and we can simply remove it this way by clicking delete. And of course, that's about it. You can take as many screenshots as you want. They'll be automatically uploaded and the short link will be copied to your clipboard basically immediately. Upon opening them up, you'll be redirected to where you actually uploaded them. As you can see, this link at the very top is a lot longer than s.techno.co slash f. That's exactly why I own the short domain and I've set up a URL shortener on it. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found it somewhat useful. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.